How to fix KV506861 failed to install in Windows 11 25H2 or 24H2. Hello friends, follow the steps to fix any installation problems with November 2025 security update for Windows 11 25H2 or 24H2. First thing first, try installing the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog from the video description. After clicking the link, you will reach this page. Here are multiple files. Find the file compatible with your system. For this, check your system type first. To do this, click on Start. Select Settings. Go to System. Scroll down to bottom and click on About. Here is System Type. This is 64-bit operating system. This file is compatible with my system. Check yours and click on the respective download button. Over here, click on this link. Let the file download. Once completed, click on the folder icon. Right click on the MSE file. Select Open. Preparing the installation. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? Click on Yes and follow the on screen instructions to complete the installation. If the issue still persists, fix the installation using Windows update. For this, click on Start. Select Settings. Go to System. Scroll down and click on Recovery. This is fixed problems using Windows Update. Click on Reinstall now. Click on OK on this pop-up. Once you click on OK, a repair version of Windows Update will be downloaded here. After downloading is completed, click on Restart now. Then try to install the update. If the issue still persists, run Windows Update Troubleshooter. Right-click on Start. Select Run. Go to the video description. You will find this run command. Copy the command. Paste into the run box. And click on OK. This is the legacy version of the Windows Update Troubleshooter. This is more effective than the current version of Get Help app. Click on Advanced here and click on Next. Follow the on screen instructions given by the troubleshooter and then check for updates and try to install it. If any problem still occurs, reset Windows Update components. For this, click on Search, type CMD, right click on Command Prompt, select Run as Administrator. Go to the video description. You will find these commands there. Run these commands separately, one line at one time. Copy the first line, paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Copy the second line, paste into the command prompt and hit enter. In the same way, run all these commands. Once completed, close the command prompt and restart your computer. Then try to install the update. The next method you can follow is modify services. Click on search, type services. Click on services. Find app readiness in the list, this one. Right click on the service, select properties. The startup type is automatic here. If it is not automatic, click on the drop down and select automatic. If the service is stopped, click on start. Click on apply, click on ok. Right click on app readiness and select restart. 
in the same way find background intelligent transfer service right click on the service select properties change the startup type to automatic and click on start if it is highlighted click on apply click on ok find cryptographic services right click on this service select properties the startup type must be automatic here and the service must be running here nothing needs to be changed configure the service in the same way right click on the cryptographic services and select restart then look for windows update this one right click on this service select properties the startup type is already automatic and the service status is running if it is not automatic change it to automatic and if it is stopped click on start click on apply click on ok right click on windows update select restart once done close the services window and try to install the update if any issue still persists run system files checker and dism command line tools for this click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator go to the video description you will find both the commands here copy the first command for system files checker paste into the command prompt and hit enter once completed copy the dism restore health command from the video description paste into the command prompt and hit enter after the processes are completed close the command prompt and restart your computer then try to install the update click on start select settings go to windows update and click on check for updates if the security update is downloaded click on restart now to install the update if any of the methods doesn't work you will have to perform in place upgrade to do this launch a browser type windows 11 download press enter click on this link go down to the download windows 11 disk image iso for x64 devices section click on select download and select this option if your device is arm64 based then click on this link and follow the steps accordingly for x64 devices click on confirm now we will have to select the product language check the language first to avoid any mistake click on start select settings go to system scroll down to bottom click on about here is system type mine is 64 bit operating system and x64 based processor check yours and select the language here click on choose one english united states click on confirm click on 64 bit download let the download complete once completed go to the download location click on the file explorer icon downloads right click on the downloaded iso file and select mount on the open file security warning pop-up click on open right click on setup.exe select open and check this box here i want to help make the installation better and click on next
for applicable notes and license terms. Click on accept. At last, click on install. Your computer will restart multiple times to finish the installation. The security update will be installed along with this installation. The issue should be fixed now. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.